Hi everyone, I'm Johan. Today I'm going to talk to you briefly about the DoorDash data scientist interview process. At the end of this video, you should have a good understanding of the process itself, what interviewers filter for, and several tips on preparing yourself for this. After covering the process, I'll talk about one specific interview tip that is unique to DoorDash. Quick intro, I'm from Prepfully. This overview has been put together by DoorDash data scientists who are also interview coaches on Prepfully. The very same ones who have helped hundreds of candidates with mock interviews and advice. This is a video version of our much more in-depth written guide, which we'll link within the description. And you can always book time with the coaches directly for a more personalized guidance on Prepfully's website. Right, on to the overview. As a part of the DoorDash data scientist interview, the candidate will need to go through three primary rounds. Now the first, a HR round. The second round is a coding round. And the third round consists of business intuition interviews. Let's talk about step one, the HR round. The goal of this round is for your recruiter to better understand your background and also take some time to share details about the role and answer any questions you might have. As is a standard for HR rounds, they're going to ask you several questions about your past experience and skills. We have five tips for getting through this round. Make sure to brush up on previous work experiences and have specific projects to discuss from each role. If you are applying for the DS manager role, you should emphasize on any DS projects you have led in the past. Organize your thoughts in advance around topics like what your contribution was, how things went, and what you could have done better. Keep answers short and crisp. This is pretty important. You don't want to go off on a tangent and lose your interviewer's interest. Have a clear reason of why you're applying at DoorDash as well as why you think you'd succeed there. When asked, tell me about yourself, try to cover the obvious skills and experience, but maybe also include a nugget that helps you stand out and be memorable. Next up is step two. The second round is the coding round, in which you have to solve coding questions related to SQL. The questions are usually of medium complexity and a lot of candidates reported a rapid fire series of SQL questions. This round is often done by a senior DS. We have two tips for this round. Make sure you practice and work on advanced SQL techniques. The topics you should especially focus on are group by, aggregation, window functions, and date time based SQL questions. You can check out our detailed interview guide for example interview questions. Try to figure out the right level of complexity when answering. The best way to do this is to frequently check in with your interviewer. For instance, I would normally add in X and Y into this query since it could help me with later improving query performance. Do you want me to go into that? That gives your interviewer the space to say yes or no, depending on how much ground they still have left to cover. This step is often the one with the highest drop-off rate since candidates often get caught off guard by the speed and quantity of questions which can come up. We'd strongly recommend practicing with someone who can assess how you actually come across in an interview. So get a friend to help you with a mock or just use a coaching service like Prepfully's where a data scientist can simulate that real world interview vibe for you and provide specific feedback on how you did. Quick interjection, if you're finding this content useful, please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave comments if you need me to dive into other aspects. The final round is the third round that consists of business intuition interviews. These interviews usually comprise a live business case study that is usually about a new product or service for DoorDash's business, along with some behavioral questions. The goal of this round is to understand your depth and breadth of knowledge about the DoorDash business model and the role you might play within this ecosystem. During the third round, the interviewer will elevate the candidate's ability to comprehend the given case and meet DoorDash's expectations by asking follow-up questions. Some candidates reported facing a technical screening along with the business case study similar to the previous round. Good, then before I go into the DoorDash specific tip, a quick reminder that once you feel ready for some practice, or if you just want to check your interview readiness, especially on a business case study, you can book an anonymous session with a DoorDash data scientist. These have a truly incredible ROI, given that you basically earn back the cost of one of these sessions in roughly an hour or two of your work. The DoorDash specific tip then, Take extra time to understand the nuances of the multi-side business model of DoorDash. Nearly every Prepfully candidate reported that it came up in their case study. So it's very useful to have pre-thought the dynamics involved, the metrics you track, and how you test these hypotheses within this ecosystem. 
you need to constantly keep the interplays of restaurants, bookers, and dashers in mind all the time, since most experts will meaningfully affect metrics beyond their direct scope. In addition, try to read up beyond the business fundamentals and think of how DoorDash prioritizes customer satisfaction, what trade-offs are involved, etc. And when thinking of metrics, keep in mind that the success in one aspect of the marketplace might come at the cost of a different place. And you need to demonstrate your awareness of this and the present thinking of how you'd work around it. That's all from me. I've linked to more useful resources in the description if you're interested. If you have any follow-up questions about the interview, ask in the comments below. And if you found this video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks and good luck. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe. Our website is prepfully.com. We've got lots of interview questions there. You can also schedule a mock interview with one of our experts. You can find the link in the description below. All the best from us at Prep Fully, and we hope you totally rock your interview.